Hey everyone, it's Nick here. I'm doing my review on Soul Eater t today. So let's see. I'll read the premise. Soul Eater follows three teams of meisters and weapons as they strive to become the hum the strongest protectors of humanity at an academy founded by Lord Death, who has bound his soul to the city under which the first academy lords remains inside. Now, let's see. I really like the show. At first I thought it was just going to be, oh, you know, average, but yeah, I watched all episodes and boy, it was really good. I was really um, gripped by the end of it. You know, I even cried a few times. It was quite sad at times. It was definitely hilarious. I, I really liked the humor on the show. But yeah, I got sad at times. Yeah, I really got... I mean... Anyone who watches the show, I'm sure that... I mean, you can't go... Honestly, you can't go watching the show. I don't think you're going to be able to go without crying at least once. So let's see, music. The music on the show is really good. In fact, I actually wanted to get the soundtrack for the show, but I couldn't find it on iTunes, so I just have to settle for it being on YouTube. I'm hoping they eventually release the soundtrack for the show, because it is really good. I mean, it's it's like one of those soundtracks I could just listen to like when I'm hanging out or doing stuff around that. It's really good stuff. Um, the type of humor on the show is... Um, it's um, black comedy and has, you know, it's dry and it has, you know, a lot of slapstick humor. <laughs> uh, you know, the characters are pretty good in the show. I like them. Uh, even Excalibur, he could be kind of, I think he could be a bit annoying to, at times, but I still think he was pretty cool. I liked him. Him and his um, thousand provisions. <laughs> it's kind of a catchphrase. Fool! <laughs> and Troy Baker did a really good job. He voiced Excalibur. He did, he did really good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think the characters are pretty cool. I like their design. They did a really good did work on the character designs. They're really quite striking, you know, quite memorable designs. Let's see. Animation the show's really good. In fact, the show came out in 2008, and animation still looks pretty good for the show. Uh, Bones did it. Bones did um, one of the most recent works is My Hero Academia, which, granted, it's, they've improved, you know, since they've done Soul Eater, but it's still pretty good. I mean, the animation still holds up pretty well, amazingly. I mean, a lot of the animation shows from 08, you know, they look, you know, dated, but it still looks pretty good. I mean, I think they could pass it off for a new show today. It would still look pretty good. It's up to today's standards, pretty much. Let's see. Uh, action is really good in the show. It's anim it's well animated and exciting. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Oh yeah, there's some good fan service on the show. It's not as much as other ones. Like My Hero Academia has more fan service. Uh, Fairy Tale has more Eden Zero, but I mean, there's still some. Mostly with um, Blair and the. Blair mostly, and then Arachne. Arachne um, is one of the villains in the show, but it doesn't have a ton, surprisingly. Uh, let's see. So I think I'd rate. Give the show, I feel like the show is an 8 out of 10. I mean, it was pretty good. It's about the typical rating I give a show like this. I liked it quite a bit. I had fun. And it only has one episode that's filler. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was the third one involving Scalber and the Thousand Revision stuff. I think that was the filler one, but it was still pretty good for a filler episode. It was only one. Now, there's also a manga for the series. I haven't read it yet. I... I'm hoping to read eventually. Square Enix actually publishes it, interestingly enough. You know, they do, their main thing is known, well known for doing Final Fantasy games and Nair. 
uh, Dragon Quest, but they also apparently do manga, so that's an interesting thing. They publish some manga. I know Soul Eater is one of them. So, I mean, if you like shows like uh, Fairy Tale, um, let's see what else, Bleach, yeah, I think Bleach, I know definitely Fairy Tale, um, what's another one, oh, Fire Force, oh, Fire Force is by the same, um, the person that created um, Soul Eater did Fire Force, so if you like that show, you definitely like, I'm sure you like Soul Eater. I just started Fire Force. I haven't gotten far now. I'm going to keep working on it. So far, I'm liking it, but, you know, I'll get there, you know. So, anyway, I yeah, I think it's a really good show. If you, if you like those types of shows, I think you'll like it. So, anyway, I'm going to end my review, so hope you enjoyed, and I will uh, catch you guys later.